One of the things I noticed on the product page is that we see information about our blog, such as recent posts, recent comments, our blog categories, our archives, and meta information like logging in and out of the site. What would be more helpful is to see information regarding our product and other products. We can change this by going to admin and then appearance and then widgets. Let's get rid of all of the default widgets except for search. So I'll open up each one and then click delete. Let's add our cart widget so that way people can see what's in their cart. Blog sidebar sounds good. There it is. Also, I like this setting right here. Hide if cart is empty. Let's turn that on. And then I'd like to add download categories. This is different than blog categories because this is just our different products. And I also like this checkbox here that lets us hide empty categories in case you create categories and then you never end up filling them. It's just nice to hide that stuff. And if you're selling software and you have the software licensing add on active on your site, you'll see the change log widget right here. Let's go ahead and add that. This shows the user what has recently changed in your product. Let's go ahead and save all of these. And now let's take a look at the product page. I'll go back to downloads. And there it is. So this is pretty simple because we only have one category right now. Let's add something to our cart and make sure that cart widget actually shows up. There it is. I like that quite a bit. There's also a link to check out. If you want, you could probably customize this a little bit more just to make this checkout stand out and maybe to bring this table in a little bit so it's not taking up as much visual space. The one thing we probably should do and is very easy to do without CSS is let's add a little title here. So I'm going to keep this page open. I'm going to open our admin in a new tab. I'll go back to appearance, widgets, and let's add a title. And we'll call this cart. We'll go back here to this tab. That makes that a lot easier to see. Let's go ahead and do the same thing down here for our categories. And just to be specific, we'll say product categories. And this one already has a title of change log. This looks a little bit better. And if you remove this, it should all disappear. There we go. I like how simple EDD has kept the sidebar widgets. The one thing I would like to see is one sidebar for download pages and one sidebar for regular pages and blog posts. If we go to any of our blog posts, we'll still see product categories and the product cart widget and the other stuff we put in our sidebar. For some stores, that's totally fine. But for my stores that usually have a really active blog, I like to have two different sidebars one for our blog posts and one for our product pages. If you really want to maximize your sidebars, you can customize your theme with HTML and PHP to add an extra sidebar. And then you can customize each one differently according to your visitors needs.